Hello there, in this video I'm going to show you the new page anchor features we have in Modern Page in Serpent Online. Here I am in a Modern Serpent Online site that is actually a communication site. And what I'm going to do is just to create a new Modern Page in my Serpent Online site. So I'm going to click on New and then New Page. I have to choose one of the available templates. I have uh, default ones and also I have my own templates. In this part, for this particular demo, I'm going to use the blank one. Blank one, oh, sorry. Of course, I'm going to name uh, this page. So this is page anchors demo two. And the next thing I'm going to start doing is just to uh, create content in this page so I can show you the page and course. So uh, what I'm going to do is just to grab some text I have here in a notepad. And I'm going to start adding a text uh, section, sorry, a text web part to this section. So here we go. And uh, yeah, I'm going to select this uh, text and I'm going to uh, yeah change the text type to heading one could be also heading two, heading three. And for these three, I'm going to have a page anchor. That is actually what, I, what I'm going to show you today. So it's fine, heading one. And I'm going also to change the background of this section. Yeah, blue is great. And the thing I'm going to do is just to add a new section. Yeah, one column section. And again, I'm going to add a test web part. Here I am. And uh, I'm just going to copy and paste some more text. This is the test. And for this section, I'm going to change the background to different color, a light blue or soft blue. This is strong blue, correct. And I'm going to repeat myself the same operation. So I'm going to add a new section, one column, yeah. And then again, a test wet part, text quest part, sorry, and I'm going to grab uh, some test from the Office 365 for IT Plus book, just for this demo purposes. So I'm going to grab this title over here. Again, I'm going to define this is a heading one, not heading three, correct. And I'm going to change again the background to strong blue. Perfect. I'm going to add again a new section one column, and I'm going to add text squared part to this section, and I'm going to copy just this content. Fine. And again, I'm going to change the background of the section to soft blue. And next thing I'm going to do is to add a new section here, where I'm going to create a kind of table of contents. So again, what I'm going to do here is just to uh, add a test web part, table of contents. Yeah, um, I can also define this as heading one, it's okay. Yeah, let's do that. And I can put in bold and I'm going to add some test in this particular case, a bullet list, yeah. And you will understand what I'm doing in a minute. And the other is admin roles to manage server online. Okay, I'm almost done. The only thing I'm missing are my page, my page anchors. Where are, where are they? Okay, in order to get my page anchors, I need to publish the page. I don't know. I don't need this. And um, if you look at this, if I yeah, if I do mouse over over uh, this title, I'm going to have an hyperlink. In this, I can click here so I can stay focused on this part of the page. But the most important thing is that I have a link, so I can copy the link address. I'm going to paste here. Sorry. So we can analyze also uh, just the URL of a, of a page anchor, as you can see here, basically is 
the first part of the page anchor is just the current uh, URL page, and then we have a dash. No, sorry, yeah, we have the symbol, and then we have just the test uh, we define as heading one. Okay, I'm going also to graph the page anchor for the other header. Here we go, copy link address, and I'm going to, pa to paste also in this note, uh, in this uh, notepad. So the next thing I'm going to use is just to use these links in my page. So I'm going to edit again. I'm going to change before doing anything, uh, yeah, the background to uh, this case neutral. Uh, yeah, this is what I'm going to do is just to define this is going to be a hyperlink. First one. Uh, yeah, something is not okay. Now it's fine. And then I'm going to do the same with the other one. Here we go. So let's select the test and add the hyperlink here. Cool. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is just to modify the header of the page. So I'm going to use a recent picture image I was using in this site. Fine. And I'm ready now. I can republish the page. Yeah, you can see that I have a lot of test. But the most important thing is that if I click over here, yeah, I'm going to be redirected in the same page to uh, the section where I have the page anchor. And the same with the second one. Cool. So as you can see, page anchor are a very useful feature uh, for model serpent line page because it allows readers to stay focused on different parts of the page and at the same time it's providing a way to navigate between uh, the different parts of the page. So as I say, I really like this uh, feature. I think it's very useful and that's all. So I hope you have found this video interesting and yeah, talk to you soon. Bye bye.